ISAF helps to bring the young scientists of the world together. We at ISAF discover that we can build more by working together than we can individually. If you don't have these awards or something to strive towards, it's, it's difficult to do such a project. And once you do it, you understand how interesting it is and you want to do it more. It breaks down the barriers between school education and real world science. My project was on the effects of texting on driving safety. The idea came from seeing people on the road texting and driving and what I did was I used a driving simulator, a automated messaging program and a smartphone app. Later on I realised that um, what I'd done could be made into a method of educating young drivers about the safety of texting and driving. My project is finding the optimal reclamation point of phosphate from a wastewater treatment facility. Essentially, we need phosphate to have fertiliser to grow crops, and if we can't grow crops, we won't have food. The way I thought to um, recover this phosphate is using chemical precipitation, creating a solid precipitate at the bottom. It's basically pure phosphate and can be reused as a fertiliser. People will often walk across the road looking down at their devices. So essentially, my project, Swellesk, is made up of discrete electrical components. When it recognises a gesture, it will alert a smartphone via an onboard Bluetooth module. Imagine if you could control a TV with hand gestures, or a home automation system. Any Internet of Things device can be controlled using this technology. My project's called the PART program, um, improving emergency response times. Today, only one in two emergency vehicles actually reaches its destination in time. Drivers only have about seven seconds to pull out of the way. And what I was able to do was to build an application that uses GPS data and the internet so that each of the drivers on the road can get advanced warning as to when an emergency vehicle is approaching and leave a clear path for emergency vehicles to get to their destinations, which helps to save lives. A lot of teachers ask me, well, how do you establish a science club? And we actually engage with a lot of competitions. I think that's been a real driving force, actually, for a lot of students. What we try to do here with the, the mechatronics course is to, to give students a, a taste of those processes of, of engineering. So um, the role I took as a teacher was, was, was not telling Jake what to do. I was available for advice when he needed it, which, uh, which wasn't often. <laughs> You're constantly astounded by how resourceful these students are at finding um, answers to a problem. After the judging, the number of people that were speaking to students about um, coming to study at their university or researchers interested in the students' projects, and it was quite amazing that they can actually get those other contacts that could be useful for the future. I think that everyone should think about the way that our world works and sometimes the way that it doesn't work and how we can make a difference to the world around us. Because even small changes that we can make make a really huge difference and can impact people.